for the first time since 2019, horse racing fans return to Del Mar today. Fox Size Heather Lake is live where the surf meets the turf and with a preview of all the action both on and off the track. Heather, good morning. Hey, good morning. Yeah, so I have to caveat this with I, for the first time in a really long time, wore very high heels. Photographer Ben is like, oh my gosh, what is going on with you? There you go. <laughs> I needed to wear like platforms to do this job today. Good job, Ben. Um, yeah, so people are getting dressed up for the first time. Play dress up, coming out here to the races. I will tell you this, opening day was sold out and this is why reservations are required if you wanna come out to the track this year. We're just excited to have things open though so that you can out view these sports, have a good time, do the people watching. So grab the hat, grab the dress, get ready for the season. I feel like there's going to be several opening days because Joe Harper here is telling me about this season. Um, you're the CEO of the racetrack. Last year, you had racing going on but not a single person sitting in these chairs well, I, I was talking to myself all through the summer you know <laughs> I finally went down to the mutual window where we handle all the money that comes in from off track and I talked to that computer down there because it was the only thing making money so oh. it was it was but it you know the, the, the toughest part about last year was not losing the fans but losing 2,000 employees oh, and, wow. and uh, I'm so happy that you know now they can come back to work and uh, have they Yes, okay, they, they have, okay, they have good. come back, yeah, and uh, so we're, we're excited about that, and, and this today we're going to trim it down a little bit from our normal opening, but we want everybody to be comfortable, so uh, we're, sell we're selling about 17,000 uh, seats, okay. yeah, and so that's, it's, the place is going to be crowded, it'll be uh, every seat taken, but uh, a little easier to get around for the folks, and, uh, and, and that's what you have to do this year, right, Joe, is you have to find, it's not like you can pay, normally it's like $10, you can walk around this area um, down here, you could kind of don your Tommy Bahama shirt and your flip-flops and make it a casual day, instead, you, your bum has to be in a seat basically not in the whole time but you have to reserve that seat for you and so that's the deal if you have a seat reservations required you got to come out normally opening day would have close to 40,000 people out here so while it looks different for a lot of us we haven't been in a crowd unless we've been on the beach you know for a while and I think uh, you know it's it, opening day was just too crowded and uh, especially now in this era so uh, we're gonna we're gonna do that I think maybe as the meet goes along uh, we'll see and then uh, we can open up things uh, as we go through, but, okay. uh, but we still have, you know, we still have our opening day, our hat contest is going on, yeah. and uh, uh, opening day is going to be great today. Yeah. And I think throughout the season we'll, we'll have, we'll have, we've got great horses here, uh, I, more entries we've ever had before oh, on wow. these first few days uh, that we've taken entries, so that's good. We have a lot of horses coming from the East Coast because we, we started this ship and wind thing where we give them money to come out and then bonuses ah. if they run. So uh, that's really helping us a lot. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure it's helping Saratoga, but hey, <laughs> what the heck. I think uh, everybody loves Del Mar anyway. I mean, every jockey that I ever talked to out here is like, this is where I want to stay for the longest during my career. And this is where I love to kind of look forward to visiting. And so anytime that they can get on this racetrack during our season, which is 31 days, by the way. And so if you um, didn't get your ticket, maybe you didn't do pre-planning. A lot of us haven't been doing the pre-planning, so you're like, ah, oh, it's sold out. Shoot, I can't go to opening day. There's plenty of days that you can still come, enjoy it. You can bring out the whole family if you want to and make it that, or you can make it your own opening day. Grab a hat, grab a dress, and come all dolled up, ready to kind of walk out of quarantine. <laughs> Couldn't have said it better. I think, yeah, I got to get you out in front. But yeah, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be a good meet and, and a safe meet also for the horses. You know, okay. for the third year in a row, we've been the safest track in North America. And, been working on that for, for four or five years now, of uh, putting this racing surface in the best of shape it can, having a lot of vets on call and uh, watching these horses in the morning. Uh, you know, 1,800 head of horses, so they all come out on this track every wow. morning. So we have these vets watching them to make sure that they're looking good. If they see anything, maybe a mm -hmm. little off, uh, they'll call the trainer, go see the horse. And if we don't like what we see, we yeah. put them on the vet list and we'll let them run. And that's kind of what they're doing right now. The track is empty. The horses literally just went off of their morning warm-ups, which is always fun to watch. So, Joe, thank you so much for coming out here every year, 82nd year. of Not for us. I mean, we haven't been out here 82 years. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> but we've been out here many years together and had lots of mornings. Actually, Brad Wills is normally out here, which yes. is so good to see his face. Or I haven't seen your face, Brad, but I've heard your voice. Um, and we all miss you in the morning show, by the way. I miss you. Joe says he misses you, and hello. Brad, or, I don't know. Is Brad going today? He's not around here for me to ask. I don't think he's going today. I don't think so. All right, Heather, thank he's you. Not, I don't know. I think, um, I think <laughs> probably going to sit at home. <laughs> <laughs> probably. Probably you're right. All right, Heather, thank you.